for these in YouTube, yellow belly here. Uh, just a quick video on Raspberry Pi. I love this thing. Uh, this one was actually uh, also for possibly ETA Prime, etc. Um, this is a way to. I use Berry Boot, and it's a, I've got RetroPie and a Raspbian on there. Now, what I do is to get ROMs onto RetroPie is I've enabled. Um, on Raspbian uh, Pixel, uh, I've enabled it so that you can it's just view all, all drives. Uh, I've got basically, I'll just let that boot up, it takes a while. Uh, there's my Raspberry Pi, and I've got it connected up to a 500 gig, two and a half inch SATA uh, direct. So and it, once you enable it, I mean, you'll have to excuse, I've got a really crappy old TV here, an old, um, what is it, Sony something, Bravia or something, I don't know. But basically, it's, uh, I haven't got a remote control for it, and I, don't, I just can't get rid of that HD, you know, when you change channels and all that. I just can't get rid of it, it's an old thing. But, just let me move this over. So, on the, uh, there. So as soon as you enable it to view all attached volumes, etc., and uh, enable view, there is actually the hard drive on there. Now, if I click onto onto it, Bosh, there we go. So there it is, RetroPie mount, and uh, there's all my BIOS, etc., and my ROMs, and all those things. So basically, what you can do is when you're downloading a game you download it direct into your hard drive so then you when you reboot it automatically appears in uh your your rom pack your roms so you're not storing anything on the sd card you're storing it direct onto the um the hard drive storage this is uh, a lot easier than just setting up um very, sorry my dogs are going mad this is a lot easier than setting up a um wi-fi this that and the other you just directly download from raspbian and reboot your system on very boot and uh, and away you go so yeah great, uh, great little way to do it uh it's in it's 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 a lot easier. I mean I've got I've got plenty on there. I love this little Raspberry Pi up to I struggle with PlayStation but up to, I'm into all the Neo Geo at the moment. I've got all the all the various things. So I'll uh, I'm not gonna do a demo of how to download games and where to go, etc. and ROMs. But uh, yeah, there you go. Pretty pretty straightforward. So you can literally it sees the when you enable it, you can see Berry Boot, you can see your your hard drive that's attached, and you can do it. Also, if you're on SS just SSD, uh, you can do it on that. Also, if I open the Berry Boot there and go to uh, so what? Where is it? Data, I think. Yeah. Uh, so so this is the hard drive now. Not uh, sorry the. Uh, the SIM card, a little SSD. There, see, there's your images. Retropie. Uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Home. Pi. So you just keep going through all these. Uh, oh, there's some crash logs there. But uh, let's have a look. Retropie. There. So there you go. Same thing again. BIOS, ROMs, etc. Actually, look at my BIOS. There's nothing in there on my SD card because it's all on the hard drive. So same with ROMs, etc., etc. So yeah, it's uh, just a quick way to put hard to put it on. I might do a video of actually physically doing it, um, showing you how to do it, how to enable. But I did it by mistake, to be honest. Once. Uh, once I did it, it was, uh, I think it was in the tools or thing on the menu of view, right at the bit, uh, on the thing to view attached volumes, etc. So, actually, I think it's in the, off the desktop. But anyway, 
yeah, so there's a quick there's a quick one, an easy way than having two computers on the go and having to, to download your ROMs, BIOSes, etc. You can just do it all off your Pi and uh, that's, uh, that's about it for now. Okay, I'll uh, cause I love, love this, uh, loving RetroPie, loving everything about it. Uh, reboot. Yeah, it does take a while this machine of mine because it really is, it's a slow hard drive SATA. I think it's, um, oh, it's a 500 gig one and off an old, oh, God knows what it is. But, um, yeah, Betty Boot's brilliant for doing this because, like I said, you can access it direct. Uh, I have Cody on here as well. So, literally, if I want to watch a film or anything like that, it's because it's all on the SD card, all I do is unplug the hard drive, which is flashing away there. Oh, it's a bit cold, we've got snow today. Uh, Red Sprite comes on and I can watch Cody up in the bedroom on the other telly. I've got a pro... A well, not a lot of decent telly, but... A 60 hertz TV upstairs, so uh, but yeah, emulation stations coming on, and there we go. I've got various <sighs> various on there, obviously. Uh, arcade, got some arcade C64, uh, Dreamcast. I can't really get it going, I'll be honest. I'd love to get Saturn going, but uh. I don't know what I've gone to find there now for, but no, I think I've just threw the uh, one of the ROMs in. Sorry, one of the BIOS files. I've got tons of Mega Drive games on there, I think. Yeah, 74 of those. Uh, Nintendo 64, struggle with that. Uh, I've got three on there. Nintendo DS, it does really, really well. I'm, I'm really surprised. Uh, I'm going to sit down with the wife at some stage and we're going through. Um, she's a real big fan of. Um, Animal Crossing, so yeah, uh, Neo Geo, uh, like I said, I've got 21 games there, loving Metal Slug at the moment, PC Engine, uh, not got the CD working, but as you can see, I just downloaded the lot, 322, and then just started getting rid of duplicates, uh, it was a massive, massive thing, and ports is where my... Cody sits, I uh, must update that actually. PlayStation, I struggle with it. I struggle to get it, get them working. So yeah, uh, I've got 32X, Sega CD, Snares, and Amiga, and Amstrad as well. Um, I've got 172 Amstrad because I actually had one back in the day. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so that's pretty much my setup. Uh, just a quick one, my keyboard I use. Uh, it's got a little Bluetooth there. Uh, Jobby there, if you can see. Uh, I don't know what they're called, didn't cost me much, but it's uh, got a mouse pad in the middle, and, uh, and that just does everything. I can't be minded with proper keyboards and mice anymore. Uh, now for computers, this is uh, not, a, not a full computer, so is it? Let's be honest. Anyway, so yeah, so quick shout out to ETA Prime and all those guys that, um, like Simply Austin, that do excellent videos on this and far better than i am but uh nobody's actually shown this so i thought i'd show you okay uh and i'll do another video at some stage showing you exactly how, how i did it if I, once i can remember that's uh that's me done yellow belly out